I do a, quite a mixture of things. Um, at Wolf Orleans, we do branding, identity for quite large organisations, whether they are charities or you know, commercial organisations or art institutions. Uh, and then my private uh, personal work is more like artistic work for films. It's not commercial. It's just things I love doing. I know He's Marina's on the spot work now. all very, very well, <laughs> very well indeed. So uh, I'd seen pretty much all of it before, I guess, right? Yeah, I'm sorry yeah. about That's that. All right. <laughs> Apart from probably a couple of small things. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was nice to see the kind of the the Milan cancer. Um, Trust in in great detail, you know, and I think that uh, second, third time, I think it's it's gets stronger for me. It's such a, a really important, valuable identity system that is, is it looks at it in a completely different way. It's not a logo. It's a sort of a kind of a communication platform. It's less about the image, and it's much more about creating coherence between all the different things uh, that organisations do, whether they're charities, whether they're you know com companies. Aside from the cultural stuff. Yeah. Which is great. I think Amnesty again is something that you're working for an organisation, helping to communicate stuff which can ultimately let save lives. A few years ago, I worked with Amnesty to kind of create a new brand identity for them, and rather than changing the logo, um, the suggestion was really to create a way of doing things. The logo is so famous that it would be a crime to touch that. We wanted to, to have a way of intervening to call attention. I think Angus's work is very sophisticated. With Marion, I think the collaboration is, in, is very, very strong. Because you can see a coherence between the work you two do. So yeah. it was a nice idea to get you two to talk together. I'm a consultant art director to Lawrence King. So two mornings a week, I um, have a breakfast, walk down the road, and spend two hours um, developing book ideas and help running the, um, the design roster of uh, the Lawrence King um, publishing list. I mean, a lot of graphic design, its function is much greater than its actual form. The fact that it does its job without hindering, without putting itself at, at first. But then there are other bits of graphic design where quite clearly it needs to be an object that you cherish and love. Oh, you need to call attention. You know, call attention to like The things we're talking, say, for example, the amnesty job, the whole point of it is to intervene so people yeah. stop what they're doing realize there's something really important going on that you can help change. I think graphic design is like, you know, it's omnipresent, yeah? And most of the best bits, in truth, you probably don't even notice because they are just helpful in the way that you kind of communicate to you and, and the way you run your lives, like road signs quite often and things like that, I yeah. find are kind of, it's the unsung heroes of graphic design are the really important ones. You start to work with, you know, signage and all the different dimensions and how does that come to life in the place, in the space. And there was something almost like High Street about it, which was quite a big shift for quite an important museum. Sometimes you have to whisper to be heard, and other times if you don't shout, You'll be ignored, so it depends.